اکبر ایوب خان جناب اکبر ایوب خان اور ڈاکٹر امجد صاحب آپ اپوزیشن ممران جو ہیں وہ ناراضگی کا انہوں نے اظہار کیا تو جب تک یہ ریزولیشن پیش کرتے ہیں آپ اور زہد چند زہب صاحب اور آپ یہ سارے چلے جائیں Resolution regarding the appointment of ad hoc judges in Supreme Court of Pakistan. We, the elected members of Provincial Assembly of Khyber Pakhtunkhwa, stand for upholding the independence of judiciary, rule uh, of law. Honorable Minister Sahib, one minute. One second. کتنی قراردادیں ہوگی ہیں تو زیادہ ہوگی ہیں پانچ اچھا ٹھیک ہے خیر ہے لیتے ہیں ساری ہیں Thank you, Mr. Speaker. This is the last resolution. Resolution regarding the appointment of ad hoc judges in Supreme Court of Pakistan. We, the elected member of Provincial Assembly of Khyber Pakhtunkhwa, stand for upholding the independence of judiciary, rule of law, and constitution of Pakistan, 1973. The political situation of Pakistan after the full court majority decision of Supreme Court of Pakistan in civil appeal number 333 and 334 of 2024, CMA number 2920 of 2024, 9 July 20, 2024 announced on 12 July 2024, in which Article 51 and Article 106 of of the Constitution of Islamic Republic of Pakistan 1973 has been interpreted and the impugn order dated 1st March 2024 of Election Commission of Pakistan has been declared to be ultra wires of the Constitution of Pakistan without lawful authority and of no legal effect. Similarly, the impugn judgment dated 25 March 2024 of larger bench of Peshawar High Court is set aside and the Supreme Court of Pakistan declared that the denial of election symbol does not in any manner affect the constitutional and legal yeah, rights yeah, of yeah, political yeah, party. Yeah. Legal rights of political party to participate in an election. So Pakistan Tariq Insaf is a political party which secured one seat in National and Provincial Assembly and after filing of the affidavit of being candidate of PTI and confirmation by the poli political party, the candidate contested the general and provincial elections as its candidate. The said seat be counted as seats of PTI and PTI shall within 15 days file list of candidate for reserve seat of women and minority. Then the election commission of Pakistan won by, then election commission of Pakistan would be bound to notify as per proportionate to the general seat secured by PTI and reserve seat as their members. Number two, in order to 
frustrate the said judgment of the Supreme Court of Pakistan, any act either in shape of appointment of four ad hoc judges would be construed as motivated to peg the court and undermine the independence of judiciary. That for appointment of ad hoc judges, the law is provided under Article 182 of the Constitution of Islamic Republic of Pakistan, 1973, which is intended to be a temporary measure. The proposed ad hoc appointment will be seen as an attempt to peg the court, thereby affecting the judiciary composition and decision rather than addressing the systematic issues as alleged case backlog. These are lots of national and international crises in our, there are lot of national and international crises in our country and the said appointments would create new crises in our country, Pakistan. We, the member of Provincial Assembly of Pakistan of Khaybar Pakhtunkhwa thinks that if Supreme Court of Pakistan don't want to make other crises, the senior judges of the high courts can well be elevated by, uh, to the Supreme Court of Pakistan as already, as already meeting of Judicial Commission of Pakistan is scheduled for 19 July 2024. When democracy and rule of law is seriously being undermined in Pakistan, such appointments will have ser serious impact on constitutional issues. As we, the member of Provincial Assembly of Khaybar Pakhtunkhwa, are seeing the matter with great concern as already review petition against the full court majority judgment of reserve seat have been filed and we apprehend that this court this could lead to attempt to undermine the judiciary judicial in, independence for political purposes and such action might erode public trust in the judicial system which would have long lasting detrimental effects on the rule of law in Pakistan. And such attempt would bring our blood country, Pakistan, to extreme disaster. Number three, that for appointment of ad hoc judges to the Supreme Court, Article 182 starts with sentence, if at any time it is not possible for want of quorum of judges of the Supreme Court, to hold or continue any setting of the court, or for any reason it is necessary to increase temporarily the number of judges of the Supreme Court, which means that no, no such like situation is present, and we, the elected members of Provincial Assembly of Khaybar Pakhtunkhwa, would construe the same to be done only for political purposes. Number four, in light of the above, we, the elected member of Provincial Assembly of Khaybar Pakhtunkhwa, call upon the Judicial Commission and Parliamentary Committee not to endorse these appointments. We, the elected member of Provincial Assembly of Khaybar Pakhtunkhwa, also further call upon the Honorable Retired Judges to reject their appointments of the ad hoc judges of the Supreme Court of Pakistan. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Is this the desire of the House that that resolution moved by the Honorable Member may be passed? Those who are against it may say yes. yes. Those who are against it may say no. Eyes have it, the resolution is passed by majority. Uh, Janab. Adnan Kadri Sahib, Motrama Nilofar Babar Sahib, Ake Shor Fodu, Bajor Damake, Shahid Onevale, Senator Adatullah Khan, Adatullah.